Hello everyone, here's Olya and my blog about Ukraine and this video I make for people who want to find their far relatives in Ukraine uh, far relatives from Ukraine because uh, they live abroad um, I think um, if you're interested in this video please listen it all it will be a kind of long video but I want to give you very important information that you probably don't know or don't think that it's um, very important to know. So I received a lot of messages from a lot of people who said that uh, they had um, relatives who escaped from Ukraine in early uh, USSR period or even before the, sec the First World War, after the First World War. And uh, of course now uh, they want to find their relatives in Ukraine. Of course, it's very important to know your heritage and you know uh, to know your relatives. And uh, uh, what these people do, or probably what you do, if you want to find relatives, you just try to find the same um, surname that had your far relative who escaped from USSR to your native country now, your current country, and you try to find this surname uh, through uh, contact uh, Facebook probably or something else. And uh, I just want to warn you that um, looking for surname, it's not the correct way to find your relatives. And I'm going to explain you why. At first, uh, the most like simple way and the most, I think, widespread, uh, your surname can stop because of a woman. So women always, probably most of the time, they changed their surname when they got married. And uh, if you have a lot of relatives women, they just can change surname, got married, and uh, like your surname stopped and probably they now have different surname. Uh, it's the most like um, widespread uh, purpose, but there is a lot of different purpose probably which you don't know. At first, I want to say if you have relatives who escaped from country kind of in the early USSR period, so in like 20th or before, like exactly in the end of the Second World War, uh, there was some events in Ukraine and um, that you maybe don't know. At first, a lot of surname was changed by Soviet power. For example, I just tell from my experience and on my example from my family. My grandpa, so he was born in 30s, in 30s. Uh, um, his surname was Riznik. And as you see, my surname now is Reznikova. It's totally different surname, but uh, his surname was Riznik and all his uh, relatives also have surname Riznik. But because of Russification in Ukraine in some period, when he uh, comes to um, like some office uh, to receive documents uh, that like his name, his surname, uh, there was like Russification period and they all changed Ukrainian surnames into Russian. My grandpa, he was from East Ukraine and he's uh, like he was Ukrainian, but in East Ukraine this Russification was so strong and all his relatives, all his friends who at the same time go to check, uh, go to receive their document, their passport when they was 16, for example, they all received passport with new surname. So he was Riznik and his surname changed into Reznikov. Uh, also his friend was Koval and uh, his surname was changed into Kovalev. And there was a lot of a lot of this example. It was first uh, reason why you don't need to find exactly the same surname as you know because this surname can be changed because of Russification. The other purpose, uh, after the Second World War, uh, if you had Ukrainian surname but want to have a great career, you need also to change it into Russian because, mm, like, it was uh, like Ukrainians was like. Mm, um, nation, like not respectable nation and if you want to have a great career into army or in some like institution you need to have Russian surname and this happens with my other grand-grandpa grand from other side, from my mom's side. 
uh, he had also Ukrainian surname, one Ukrainian surname, and then he need to change it to other surname. So he's like one surname was like um, Lisi, and he changed into Petrov. So you so different, totally different Sunny, but he need to change because of his career and uh, when he was in some institution they said if you change Sunny into Petrov or into other very very Russian Sunny, you will have a great uh, career like Rice and he had a great career Rice only after he, ch he changed his Sunny. So probably if your relative also have uh, Ukrainian signing, they can change it because of a better career, because of some career prospects and some, something else. Uh, the next one, don't forget that if your relatives escape after the First World War, after this time it was Holodomor in Ukraine, so it was artificial famine where like whole villages died. Probably like your relatives can just die because really it was very very big disaster in Ukraine. It was artificial famine and so much people died. Like I don't know exactly how much because um, now nobody don't know exactly, but kind of five million seven million people died because of artificial famine in Ukraine. And also after artificial famine there was the Second World War where also so much people died. But even um, I will be optimistic and uh, still think that your relatives are alive, but in, the, in this time, especially in the war, war, war time, a lot of you know a lot of people died, for example, and uh, documents can be like one person can have documents of other person and this person was one like one name one surname and after some explosion he lost his conscience for example and it, someone like exchanged documents and he has new documents with new uh, surname and with new name and also the next purpose what I want to say after the second world war um, I don't know if you know uh, maybe a lot of people want to argue but uh, again I tell from my example from example of my family. Um, if uh, someone was in the Second World War and was in Germany because they like... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to say. I don't know English so good. No, you understand. They like uh, was with German soldiers. Uh, after this time uh, the um, U USSR uh, saved them but after this, these people must go to prison because they was with Germans, they must die, but not go to German because, I don't know, because it was stupid policy. So these people, a lot of people need to change uh, their surname and their name just because don't go to prison and say, no, 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 it was not me, it was other person and my name and surname is different. So I just uh, tell you different different situation when your relatives can change their surname, totally change or just have a little change just like in recification period. But you don't need to um, find person just with the same surname because it's very very hard. And also also after the world, uh, the Second World War, uh, there was um, like. Um, very big migration in USSR so a lot of people from Ukraine go to Russia or to other like Republic of USSR a lot of people from Russia come to Ukraine because there was uh, different different uh, plans and very big migration and a lot of people migrate so much they don't have relatives like in the same country even so probably you are looking for your relatives in Ukraine, but they can be even not in Russia or somewhere in Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and some other countries. So what I can propose you. There is one uh, website, familysearch.org. Uh, this is a website from Mormon Church, I guess. Uh, but they have other purpose for this, but I think it can help you very much because they take a picture of all uh, archive documents in uh, all of the world. And uh, um, 
thanks to this you can find your relatives and you can find your relative who um, comes to like for example United States in your country and then find his relatives according to these documents in Ukraine and then you can find their current relatives and where they move where they live now because they take a picture of all 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 documents I know this because um, I read a newspaper there was like some a lot of people arguing why you allow them to take picture of a document or for archive document but it's only one way to you can come to ukraine and go to archive or you can use this website familysearch.org and try to find your relatives from ukraine i think this video will be helpful for you thank you for listening bye